Good morning everyone! So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a swatching video for you guys and I haven't done a swatching video in a while but I checked my mailbox and I found this in there so I was like, what is this? <laughs> I kind of died when I opened this up and saw all of these colors. There are 29 colors in here and these are the Velvet Matte Lip Pencils from NARS. So, since I have 29 of them now, I thought what an appropriate time to do a swatching video. So, I'm super excited to try these out. I've tried the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils before and they have amazing formulations. They feel super comfortable on the lips. And now that I have all these colors, I can go ahead and swatch them. So, I'm just going to jump into the swatches from here on out and enjoy. This is for those of you guys who are looking to pick one of these up and you're just curious to see what they look like. So, let's go ahead and get started. So for these swatches, I'm going to go ahead and do a voiceover for you guys so I can explain the different shades and how they apply, kind of my thoughts on them in general. So I'm going to try and run through this really quickly and concisely and I'm going to try and do this in one take so we'll see how it goes. So obviously if I spend more time on one shade, that means I liked it. So this first shade is called Get Off and it is a nude peachy color. As you can see, it's a beautiful nude for my skin tone. This is pretty much as nude as I'd go. But yeah, so that's the first shade. Then following that, we're going to move into another peachy, mauve type of shade. This is intriguing. And as you could tell, actually I guess it doesn't have that much mauve in it. Just a little bit. Kind of more terracotta nude, I guess you could call it. And again, this these apply super smooth and really nicely. So I just love how these apply. Some of them are obviously more smooth than others. This one is called Do Me Baby. And so, you know, in true NARS fashion. Some of these have really interesting shade names, but I really like this because this is such a beautiful, deep terracotta plum color. I don't know, I'm not really good at explaining colors, but definitely like a fall type of color that I feel like would look good on pretty much everyone's skin tone. This is definitely one of my favorite colors. Now this shade called Famous Red is a pretty basic blue based red color. As you can see it goes on very nice and smooth obviously. It's almost on the fluorescent side I'd say and you're gonna see that in a lot of these mattes there are a lot of red shades. So towards the end of the video I did do a comparison so you can kind of see the difference between the reds. I swatched them all on my forearm so you guys could see all the colors in one. So this one is called Let's Go Crazy and it's a magenta color. Now it's funny thing is I noticed that there weren't a ton of magentas. There's a ton of different orange orange and red colors, but not a ton of magentas. This is one of the few magenta-y colors. Definitely a very wearable pink, and I think this would, again, go well with a lot of people's skin tones. Now this one uh, has an interesting name as well. Clearly they're talking about cats here. And this is a very unique color, and again with NARS, you get kind of those really interesting pops of colors. So this is a muted purple color. Actually, I guess I wouldn't say it's muted. It's definitely purple, but it's definitely a wearable purple, as weird as that sounds. Something I would definitely see myself wearing out and about. Now, this next color is called Dirty Mine, and it is a, another purple color. It's definitely a lot deeper and darker than the last purple, and I'd say if you had to pick between the two, I would probably go for this one because I feel like it just would look better on more skin tones. And it's definitely more of a, an approachable purple. So if you're kind of shying away from that color family, this one's definitely a good starter purple, I guess you could call it. Now next, this one is called Endangered Red. And this red is a little bit more plummy than some of the previous wed weds. <laughs> reds. I said, try saying reds like 10 times in a row, get your words mixed up, but it's a little bit deeper and more purpley of a red than the other ones I tried. I guess you could say it's more of a burgundy red. Obviously I'm doing this in one take, so you're going to hear all my mistakes. <laughs> now this color is called Unspoken and this is a navy blue. Now this one, it's still an interesting color and I don't want to say that I don't like it, but you're going to see it in the close-ups. It's going to take some layering and working with because one layer of this, you can still see my skin underneath it. It's not like, you know, super opaque. Not one of my favorites. Still really an interesting color, but just keep that in mind if that's going to bug you. Now this one is called Lonely Heart and this is 
literally a brown color. However, this one is one of the more smoother ones, so I love how this applies. It's just beautiful. I love this color in general. I think this is definitely something wearable. However, it's very eye-catching, and I feel like it complements my eye color really well. It just makes my brown eyes look more brown, and so that's why I really like that. Now, this one is called a Bahama, and let me see when I apply it on. Yeah, so there's also a lot of these kind of terracotta-y nude colors. Again, I really like this shade, and it's a little bit lighter than some of the beginning ones I showed you in the earlier part of the video. A lot of these are very similar, so again, you're gonna have to refer to the swatches at the end. This one is called Belle Du Jour, and this one is the lightest one that I swatch. As you can tell, um, I also apply this very sloppily, uh, not my favorite on my skin tone. I think it would look better on other people's. Oh my gosh, what a mess. I was so sloppy with this one. When you start applying like basically 30 different lip colors and then wiping them off, um, it gets kind of messy and your makeup gets crazy. This one I think is called Bedina, Bettina, something like that. Anyways, there's also a couple metallic-y mattes. This is one of them, so it kind of has a metallic sheen to it, if you can't tell. It's kind of like a brown sugary kind of color, which I really like. Next, we're gonna move on to Bolero, and this is another color that I just don't think suits my skin tone personally. I don't think it's a bad color. It is a little patchy, like the navy blue color that I was talking about previously in this video. Still a pretty color, again, just not for my skin tone. And this one just kinda makes me look a little chalky. Now this red is called Cruella, and with this red, it goes on very true red. It's a very true red, that's what I'm trying to say. And yeah, not much to say about it, just a very good matte basic red. Sorry guys, like I said, I'm not very good at explaining colors. You kind of have to refer to the swatches, which is why I did like the close-ups and the application process and everything so you guys could see for yourself. Now this one is called Damned, and this is a plum color that kind of lays on the side of a more magenta color. Again, I feel like this is a very wearable plum color that you see a lot of people rocking during the fall time. Very beautiful. As you can see, it's nice and smooth and it looks nice on my skin tone. So I really like this plum color in particular. Another red. This one's called Dragon Girl. And this one is actually more of an orangey red. Very light orangey red, I guess you could say. You'll kind of see when it gets, there you go. So, yeah, red. Add some filler music here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Not that these aren't pretty colors, I just, I don't have a lot of reason, like a lot of things to say about the red colors. This one's mysterious red. <laughs> this one actually I remember applying because this one is super opaque and it's just like butter. So some of the formulas do differ a little bit, especially with the reds. This is actually one of my favorite reds. I just feel like it looks really nice. My skin tone's thick. I mean, applies opaquely, not thick. You know what I mean. Now this one is never say never. I couldn't help myself. Of course, you know, I had to plug it like that. And this one is, again, kind of one of those metallic-y colors. So as you can see, it has a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if NARS explains them as metallic-y, but you can kind of see maybe from the swatches and the close-ups what I'm talking about. This has, you know, a little something something. Now this one is Pop Life, and I would say out of all the reds, I think this one has the heaviest orange tone to it. It's also a lighter application, meaning it's not as opaque as some of the other reds. So as you can see here, you can still kind of see my lips underneath it. So just depending on your personal preferences, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Now this one is Red Square, and I might have just lied because this one actually might be the most, yep, yeah, it is, it's the most orangey out of it. But this one is like the more opaque sister to the last one I just swatched. So if you like something that's more opaque and more fluorescent, this is the red you're gonna wanna go for. So as you can see, this is really almost orange. It's getting pretty close there. Now this one is called Roman Holiday, and this is a very interesting color again because it has kind of like that frosty metallic look to it. This one you can really see the metallic-y frost in it. Oops, holding it upside down. 
And so again, I don't think this looks the best on my skin tone. I feel like this will look better on other people's skin tones. <laughs> but I don't think it's a terrible color. Again, I, I still think it's pretty and I'd probably still wear it for certain occasions. This one is called Sex Machine. And this one is kind of similar to the last one, except I would say that this one is slightly more opaque and it kind of has a more rosy undertone to it. As you can see, it kind of has a little bit of that metallic to it as well. Sorry, my application is just getting sloppier and sloppier <laughs> as the video goes on. This one is called Train Blue and you're gonna see, I was like pleasantly surprised by this one because this is one of those that just is like super opaque and just like butter again, if you can't tell. Now this is like heck yes because it's perfect application. When you get close up, you're gonna see, you don't see like a lot of my lip underneath because this is just super opaque and true to color. Such a beautiful like Bordeaux wine color. Getting fancy, Bordeaux wine. This one is called Consuming Red. And let's see what this one looks like. Yep, looks like red. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is kind of a more uh, brown red. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Kind of a more brown red. Like I said earlier, these reds are all very pretty, but you know, it's, when you're explaining so many reds in a row in one video, it gets a little hard to differentiate. Following that, this is, I want to say it's Valkyrie because that's got that W. Is this a German word? Someone explained to me. And this one is a very pretty color as well. This one's kind of a more peach based terracotta color. I think this is actually one of my favorite colors because this is kind of like a my lips but better peachy edition. So definitely recommend this one. And I think again, this would look good on a lot of people's skin tone. All right, infatuated red, let's see what you got. Now this one was one of those that also applied very thickly. I keep saying thick, but I mean in a good way, like opaque. As you can tell, like you can't see my skin underneath it. You can see how smooth it applies. And you can see it just like very buttery. So this is definitely a very nice red and this is a very Generic red as well. Like I feel like again look good on a lot of people This one is Dolce Vita and this one is a peachy tone again And as you can see this one is a very nice nude color. I would say again This one's a bit more pink than the Valkyrie one So if you're kind of deciding between those two, that's the difference that I kind of notice and then we have this one which is 413 the LKR. I'm not really sure what that stands for, but that is the name. I double checked on the website. And this, you can see the metallic on this as well. So it kind of has a little bit of a blue iridescent undertone to it. So very beautiful color. And I would say that this is the other magenta in this whole line. you enjoyed those swatches a lot of these were super beautiful I have to say I pretty much feel like I like them all so I'm glad I get to experiment with all of these and let me know in the comment section down below which one you guys liked which shade is your favorite or if you're considering picking any of these up as always I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate comment subscribe share with your friends and family and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys